Hello, in this video, we are gonna be covering how to paint clouds with the ultra dynamic sky asset and how to create presets for your levels that you can reuse over across multiple levels or the same level and how you would go ahead and add that cloud data to a level manually so that you could in theory spawn it with blueprints and add clouds into your level as you need. So it's a super easy system to set up. Let's get into it. First step is we'll do a quick run through of how you actually do paint the clouds in the first place using the ultra dynamic sky asset. So I have dragged the sky asset into my world here and we're gonna go ahead and remove all of the painted data that we have currently in our level and we'll reopen our level here. These is my generic starting clouds that, that we have as part of UDS. So if I come into the content browser and we come over to our ultra dynamic sky folder and we come to blueprints, we see our blueprint tools that we use to drag in our ultra dynamic sky. And next to it over here is the volumetric cloud painter. We're gonna right click on that and choose run editor utility widget. And this lets us actually start painting our cloud formations. So if I go ahead and click start painting, first of all, I wanna call out something that happens is that it creates in our level here, a UDS cloud paint container. This is comes important later when you want to actually add these clouds to a different level, you'll need to go ahead and add this asset because that is what it's doing behind the scenes. So we have our window coming up here that we can go ahead and start painting our clouds. This is a super easy to use interface here. We have painting options here for no clouds. We have paintings uh, with just light, uh, kind of a, a spread of clouds, not completely thick clouds. And then we have full cloud coverage that we can paint like this. And we can go ahead and use these zoom in function to zoom in and out. I have noticed that this cloud area is pretty large. So when I want to create specific cloud formations in areas around my landscape, I, I have to kind of find where it is first, and then I can go ahead and paint clouds around it like so. We can also erase things we've done to our clouds in painting. So super useful, easy to use tool. We have our all of our brush strengths and you can change additional brush sizes and things up here. So once we've painted our recognizable cloud formations, I'll paint something like this. Then what we go and do is hit save to texture. And now we can see our new painted clouds are in our level. Now, what is happening here is it's saving some data related to this level, usually in the same folder that we save our level in. So if I come back to my content browser and we come to maps and you can see here, there's been a folder created called UDS level data. What this has done is it saved two things. One, a data asset that contains the data for the clouds. And two, that data asset is referencing a texture, which is where we've saved the information that we painted in our cloud painting just a minute ago. So if we open this up here, we can see this is our data asset and we can see it's referencing a texture, which if we look for it is this exact texture right here. And if as soon as we paint additional cloud layers in this level, it will override this texture. So, so if we wanna go ahead and paint a new version of the clouds, for this environment. What we'd have to do is go ahead and grab these two assets and duplicate them. So we'll right click and duplicate them. So I've duplicated the texture and we'll right click and duplicate the data asset and we'll open the second data asset and make sure it has the new texture input here. We'll go ahead and hit save. And if we go ahead and drag this into our cloud painter by hitting the plus button to create an element and dragging in the new data asset. Now it's referencing our new texture. So if we open up the tool again, come to ultra dynamic sky and we hit blueprints and choose the volumetric painter and we run it. It's now saving data into this different uh, texture asset. So if we go ahead and we erase what we've done or we and paint some new things, very easy to tell, we'll make it completely covered in clouds, fully covered, and we saved a texture. Now it's gone ahead and saved that updated texture. So if we want to come back here and replace our data asset to version the other version, we can go ahead and do that. Then we just need to come back to our ultra dynamic sky and go ahead and choose refresh settings. And that will go ahead and refresh it to the other clouds. Then we come back to our cloud painter and we choose the other option again, then we come back to the sky, then we refresh again. Now we have our other cloud option. So very easy to create some presets for yourself for clouds that, that you've painted and, and set up. 
how would you go ahead and add this to a new level? Because maybe you have a situation where you're wanting to dynamically spawn your level and you're wanting to spawn this UDS Cloud Painter container and then add the assets to it. Very easy to do. All we have to do is find where this container is saved in the Ultra Dynamic Sky folder structure. And then you'll just have to spawn that asset and connect up the associated data asset. So uh, if we go ahead and we click on this asset and we right click on it and choose browse to asset, we can see it's saved in the Ultra Dynamics Guy Blueprints System folder. If we go ahead and we delete this cloud container, choose delete, then we go ahead and refresh our sky. So now there's no painted clouds. Let's go ahead and add this manually to a level so you can see how that would work. So first thing I'll do is I'll drag this blueprint into my level. Then I'll come over here and we'll come back to our data assets. And under the cloud painting cell data, I'll hit the plus button here and we will go ahead and drag one of our data assets in. Then all I have to do is come back to my sky and hit refresh settings. And there we go. We have our new clouds updated in our level. And this could be done programmatically through a blueprint or however you are setting up your level. All right, so that's how you paint clouds with the Ultra Dynamic Sky Asset, how to use different cloud versions as presets, and also how to add a new cloud layer to your level completely from scratch. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up or a comment. If you have any questions, just a disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with the Ultra Dynamic Sky Asset or its creators at all, but I think it's a super cool asset that's very useful and I use every day. So I wanted to make this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. You can find a link to to that asset if you'd like to grab it in the description. Otherwise, if you want other tutorials about the Ultra Dynamic Sky asset, there should be a video up here, covers some more cool things you can do with it. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.